Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, I know I said I was gonna upload every day, but sick. Anyways, we're back with an Amazon favorites video. I wanna do one more of these with like more gifty ideas for the holidays, so let me know if you guys would be interested in that, but today I'm just gonna be kind of talking about things that I absolutely love that I have for myself that I bought myself. First, we're gonna start with this um, little salad situation that I got from Costco. I went there grocery shopping hungry. You guys know that was a mistake to begin with. It smells funny, but it also has like quinoa and kale or spinach or something. I don't hate it. Okay, let's just jump into this. So the first thing, I've had this thing for freaking years. There's a million, million different variations of colors, patterns, and all that. So if you're looking at it and you're like, I'm not into pink, don't worry, sister. So you can like hook it on the back of a door at a hotel room, and then it has all these different pockets. And the amount of stuff that you can fit in this, you guys, like. I can't even explain to you how stuffed this thing has been. You can throw this in the washer and it washes amazing. I just like unzip all the things and bada bing, it comes out super clean. So I love the concept of this, but also the quality of this one in particular is just like phenomenal. Okay, finance stuff. I have three of these things, so I hope it doesn't super bore you, but realistically, this is what I've had to focus, well not had to, but this is what I've focused on a lot in the last year, just becoming a single mom and Oscar and I separating all of our finances and everything, and to be honest, we were very messy with our finances and weren't very, like, organized we definitely didn't like budget ourselves which I regret hugely and I'm sure so does he so I'm trying to be way better about it now that I'm on my own so this was one of my first purchases I don't remember if you guys or I don't know if you guys remember my words there was a phase on TikTok where everybody was kind of putting their money in envelopes and like showing how they do that and at first I was like I don't think I can do that because the way taxes the way I have to do taxes being self-employed and stuff so this one um, it comes with all these different like tabs or whatever in a binder and then it also comes with a ton of stickers. I'm particularly not a sticker person, so I threw like 90% of them away. I did keep the labels though because obviously handwriting is great, but like it's nice to have these so it comes with different categories. So as you can see, I put the labels on here. I didn't end up using emergency and vacation just because I like to save for those in my actual bank account. I didn't like uh, saving for cash for those, but Christmas is a really good one because you set aside the cash like every month or however often you want to. And then it's like already saved up for and it's put away in here. So it's not like you see it in your bank account. And I'm very much an out of sight, out of mind person. I like having different uh, bank accounts that I like can't see and don't have access to. So before we get into other financial things, I guess I'll kind of break it up, but this is another one I love. I actually had one of these years ago and it shattered and broke. You put like a little bit of kernels, like cover the bottom with kernels and oil and then put a little butter up top. The butter melts through here onto the popcorn and makes it so juicy and delicious. I don't know if popcorn should be juicy, but you know what I mean. All right, next purchase that I've had for years is this funky looking thing. I'm sure a lot of you guys can guess what it is though. It is a tripod for an iPad or an iPhone and it can work for like all different phone sizes. I also love it for the fact that it moves around so much, but also the bottom, like I, you guys know my phone's always dying so when I do lives and stuff on Instagram, I need to have it plugged in, but then I don't want my phone crooked. Okay, this one, this is a perfume and I know a lot of you guys, if you're anything like me, <coughs> Okay, maybe that was a little much. Makes me reminisce on the past. So I get it on Amazon. It's the Ed Hardy perfume. As you can see, literally it's almost gone. Fun fact, I'm also not a perfume gal. I kind of like fruity, kind of like vanilla, kind of like really strong, sexy, like Gucci. I do want to mention that there will be links down below for you guys to all of these products. The next thing, really quickly, kind of financial, not for me financial, but kid financial. I have had the kids have little piggy banks um, for years, but you know, those little tiny kid ones for toddlers, they're just really small and they break really easy and that bottom plastic piece always gets lost and then I have to tape it up and the taper, it's just the whole thing. This thing is so freaking cool, Levi loves it because it like has a code and you can set the code, ours is still just all zeros because we just got it like a month ago. <laughs> How cute is that? And then inside is the money. I do tell Levi though, like the point is to not open it. If, if he opens it too much, I'm gonna reset the password so that he can't open it because that's the point of a piggy bank. But it is really fun for the kids to put the cash there and then the coins there. Next, I just recently tried these. I have mixed feelings, but I also really love them. There's only one downside, it's just the downside is really freaking disgusting. I've used Crest, I've used like a million different brands. I've worked with different brands. And to be honest, they're all pretty good. Uh, 
Uh, it's just they're not all good for your teeth. This one is an all natural teeth whitener. They work great. Um, the only thing is, well, two downsides. You have to leave them on for 30 minutes, which kind of seems like a long time to me, but probably because they're more of an all natural solution to teeth whitening, it just doesn't have that quick effect like all those bleaching chemicals do. But the real big downside that I'm talking about is when you take them off, it leaves like this film. Now they all do, but this is like, almost feels like you didn't take off the plastic or whatever kind of material it is. Like you take it off and then just like, I think I have a video of it that I'll show, but it just kind of like pulls and it's just not a good feeling. Next thing, key, keys related. I have a few things. These things are so freaking amazing. I mean, people use these for everything. Hiking, emergency packs, like you name it, it's out there for that. It has these, um, like you can tighten it and it really stays secure. So I put a, a bunch of different keys. Also, I'm kind of a keychain addict, so it's able to hold all of my keychains. Another keychain find is just an air tag. I did buy this along with the uh, like little holder thing. Okay, few more things. I left this one over here by accident. Now, this is kind of like cheating the system because um, I haven't actually put this into use yet. Now, I just got it like a week ago and I really wanna sit down and fill it all out and find time to do that. And like I said, just with the kids being super sick and stuff, it hasn't been possible. So this brand does have planners too, if you guys are interested, but I use a different planner, which I want to talk about on Instagram because it's really kind of a complex planner. So I want to be able to explain. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram if you like planners, because I'm a planner slut, an absolute planner whore doing the most. She's the most, she buys too many, put her in debt. Don't buy another planner, one every two weeks. But this brand um, does have a planner. However, this is not a like everyday planner. This is a budget planner. I am so excited to try this, you guys. I know there's really good ones out there. This was one of the top rated ones though, and it also was one of the more affordable ones. So I was like, yes, yes, and yes. But you can monthly budget, do monthly calendar, expense trackers, debt trackers, savings tracker, regular bill tracker, pockets for bills, and last 12 months. So the only thing that I'm like, eh, I wish I could have opted out of this, but this isn't a personalized experience, okay? I don't keep my receipts and stuff. I know, I know. I can barely remember like toilet paper from the store, let alone to like save and store my freaking gas station receipt. But I wanted to show you guys what it looks like because I definitely, if you're anything like me, like you want to see the actual layout of it. So as you can see, I'm trying to look at it and look at the viewfinder to make sure you guys can see it. There's the monthly goals, to-do list, and then like an overall kind of calendar. And then you can put your balances, your income, your savings. And then these are like the budgeting um, spreads on for the month. Then there's an expense tracker. I don't know if I'm gonna use this yet. I honestly, probably in the beginning, I'm gonna try. Uh, but then I just feel like also, like your bank kind of has like a bank statement summary and you get one at the end of the month. And then there's these pages, which is kind of like the month in review. And then I'm trying to find the page that I was like, ooh, and now you're talking, girl. Okay, here we go. So this is like getting budget talk real quick, but I personally want to save for specific things and again I'm very much an out of sight out of mind person so I really struggle with like for instance if I'm going to Hawaii in April wink wink then I want to set my money aside now if I can or as soon as I can and like already have that money set aside for it so that way when I go to Hawaii like there's my money in my budget for Hawaii and then especially like with kids and sports and traveling and like co-parenting like it's just so hard like to but like to separate my money like that in a bank account, I'm still trying to figure out like a better way to do it because I feel like my mind needs more separation. Like the type A in me is like, I want like each account in my Wells Fargo to be like Hawaii trip, you know, freaking Canada trip, Arizona trip, California trip, like sports, summer vacation, Christmas, that's how I want it. Like I want this, but in like bank account form, that would make my CPA hate me. So anyways, this is really great to like track your savings. How much do you want? How much do you need? How much do you have saved? I could talk about this for hours. It also does come with a bunch of stickers. Again, not a sticker fan, but why not? Why not try it for like a minute? 
Okay, bins. We all love bins. I'm especially, I just fit, especially I'm a bin hoarder. I love me some bins. Round circle, like round circle, that's the same thing here. Okay, whatever. They were pretty affordable considering bins are wildly expensive. So still like they cost a pretty penny, but they can be used for the pantry. I use them for car storage. Like in the trunk, I put the kids diapers and then I put their sports stuff and then I put snacks. Very good quality. That's particularly what I love because the car ones, I take those in and out so often that I don't want them to be like, you know. This is gonna be a very ugly thing to show you because garages are just ugly, but I don't have a place to store like coats or install like hangers to be able to put backpacks or hangers in this house. There's so much room for everything, but not that. Then next to it, I have this like cubby kind of space where I have the kids have their hats, their gloves, Little things like that, because if you live in the cold in the winter time, you know that stuff gets so freaking messy. Oh, speaking of warm things, I'm also gonna link the Amazon coat down below because that thing is so amazing. I've had mine for over a year and I just bought each of the kids one. Oh, speaking of warm things, I'm also gonna link the Amazon coat down below because that thing is so amazing. I've had mine for over a year and I just bought each of the kids one. But that's pretty much it. I'm sorry this video was so rushed and stuff. I just had to get a video up for you guys. I It's been four days maybe even more since I've uploaded and I just truly like miss filming and I'm I just want to get back into the swing of things kind of force myself into it and post so thank you guys so much for watching and supporting I love you guys so much again I will have everything linked down below share your favorites down below you know a girl loves to waste some money we budget until it's Amazon time okay but yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye guys okay wait before you go, I want to see something. I haven't tried out this camera in years. I got this lens and like the body from the camera years ago and haven't used it since. And so I wanted to see, do we like this better? Like I feel like the focus is a lot better, but I'm worried about like the audio and like, is it too shaky? I don't know, let me know down below.